马蹄铁一直被当作幸运的象征，于马而言，它就像鞋一样重要。沙拉托翁塞多专业钉蹄师，同时也是一名兽医。多年来，他一直在为世界范围内的各大马术比赛提供现场应急援助。I started my veterinary career after studying for five and a half years in Germany. After that, I went back to university to write a PhD, and that was about horses' feet. So I got interested in it. It just took off from there, and then I decided to do the whole、um, education as a farrier as well. I think it's really a great thing to work in such a traditional profession. That is really old, like、um, shoeing horses we've done for the last thousands, well, thousand years. About it's like a combination of working with your hands and having something in your brain, and it makes it really fascinating because you're working on a living object, so it never gets boring. Trained stallion needs to understand the horse's mood, understand its habits, so that it can complete the whole process quickly. Usually. 马匹不会那么配合。首先，钉蹄师需要把旧的蹄铁取下来，然后修剪马蹄，就像美甲师一样。再把要更换的蹄铁放在正确的位置，用钉子或者胶水固定。Just here, this is the white line. It's about three to four millimeters thick, and in this white line, the nail goes in. This is sensitive tissue up here, and the nail has to get out before that. When your nail hole of the shoe is not exactly ab above the white line, then you might really lame a horse, you know, because if it gets into the sensitive tissues, then it's very painful, of course. And sometimes, if you have broken away. Wall and not good feet, then it's better to glue because then you don't get into the risk of nailing. 钉蹄铁最难的部分在于精准的确定蹄铁形状和大小，然后在火炉里将蹄铁烧软，最后打磨定型。这个过程需要马匹对钉蹄师足够的信任。So if you if you burn it in on shortly, they don't feel it. It's just the smoke that sometimes irritates them. But the burning on, if it was painful, I, I would not be able to do it because if 600 kilos of a horse say no, I don't like it, then no chance. <laughs>、yeah. Every horse has a different story, really. There are some horses that I'm, I'm just happy to be around. I really enjoy going there and shooting them because it's just a, good to be with that horse for an hour.、It's, I can't really explain it. Yeah. And so there are some horses that are really special, but all of them are nice. So I'm very lucky. Two thousand and six, Charlotte von Zedo will be the first to receive the medal of the International Horse Exhibition for Beijing. At the same time, she will also pass on her own experience and skills to future stallion owners, further spreading the horse culture.